I think it'll be good to do some grounding in how these large language models actually work to show that just based on what they are, they will never reach this level of embodied intelligence that people are dreaming of. They are essentially next word predictors. So they take in all the words previous and then they predict the next word. Technically it's a token, but that doesn't really matter for the sake of this explanation. They predict the next word based on all the previous inputs. So if you put in your prompt and then it generates one word, it then feeds that back into the model and generates the next word. It then feeds that back into the model, generates the next word, including its response so far. It does this until it generates its full response. This has no grounding in the real world. It takes the state of the world and it generates the next word. Because of this, these models are very, very good at making human-like text. And I say human-like very specifically because words are an emergent property of life. It is not the other way around. Life does not emerge from words. And these models are incredible, but we are not close to that because what it means to be human to live is to be alive. These models are not alive by their very nature. They do not embody experience. The words are not an emergent property for them. It's like training on the waves to figure out what an ocean is. You'll get some idea of the properties of the ocean, but you will never figure out the entirety of it. You need the embodied experience 